brasileiros ensinando mais de 140 mil Emirados ao redor da nação. Hello and welcome to Live at Expo 2020. Hiya come my future explorers. This is episode 23, Kick It with Panama and Uruguay Pavilions. My name is Danielle and I am your host for today, so I hope you're excited. As always, this is a live stream gameplay interactive show which means you need to be involved from beginning to end okay so that can be from getting involved with the comments to telling me what you want to ask the very amazing people that we're going to meet today so let me know your thoughts and interact with me throughout from beginning to end okay so let's get going so as well i'll just take you through this room here as well as exploring both of those Latin American pavilions, we're also going to be very privy to get involved with hopefully a Guinness World Record today, okay, as they are going to try and achieve the largest Jiu Jitsu lesson live, okay? So let's take a look at that fabulous view. We'll do it together. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the world's largest jiu-jitsu Okay, class. hi Alfonso. Nice to see me again. Oh, amazing. So you must have watched the previous show. Look at that view. I'm here live at Jiu-Jitsu. As you can see, there the are many people in that already. As this live event is shortly about to begin. I think I make my way further around this side. Okay, perfect. Yes, Jordan, a world record is due to take place today, hopefully. So just to let you know, the previous world record took place and it was in Abu Dhabi in 2015. And in that world record, 2,481 participants set back the previous Guinness World Record for the largest jiu-jitsu lesson in a single class. Thanks to our partnership with the Expo 2020, Brazil Pavilion, Emirates School Establishment, and make sure you let me know, anybody watching, if you have a little bit of info. MMA Federation in Palm Sports. Julie Park is receiving three... Let me know, because I've never. So I'm really interested to see some of this in action. In our docker, summing over 2,500 simultaneous Jiu Jitsu lovers on the Look, lots of children With involved this in this said, event. We can the formalities and welcome our students to begin this special evening with one last expression. Yes. Oh. Okay. Please welcome the official adjudicator from Guinness World Record. Okay, let's get a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. Firstly, I'd like to say it's a pleasure to be here with you all today at Dubai Expo. My name is Abu Okay, we're a little bit closer to the action. It's such an amazing atmosphere around here. Um, who, let me know if you think, for the title, can Dubai achieve the Guinness World Record today? The record is measured by the greatest number of people actively taking part and participating in a Jiu Jitsu lesson held at the same time at different venues which has been set up by Still the same organization. Still waiting for you to let me know if anyone's done Jiu Jitsu before. This I'm is a new tonight. record title. However, with as with all new record titles, there is a minimum requirement set by Guinness World Records and the minimum is 2,500 participants. So, as they've just Some announced, we've got to have a minimum 2,500 people to be involved. One, Jude. All participants oh, okay, Jude has faith. Dubai will break the world record for sure. Well, Plus fingers crossed should be able to either see the instructors to follow their movements on so the screen. So we have both participants, Two. so we have the coaches, a minimum we have a mix of people minutes. here that are all going to participate. and finish signal recognized by all participants must be used. Three, the instructors must be suitably qualified and approved by an official national or international governing body. And last but not least, the witnesses present at the attempt must be specialists within the topic areas. They must confirm that the lesson is relevant throughout the topics taught. 
The witnesses must be completely so at the moment they're just giving some of those warnings so that they can complete this Now, as this falls under the mass the participation agenda, the current hour taking part at other venues, detailing how and where they took part, failing to do so will result in disqualification. Having said that, I will be back later with the results. I wish you the best of luck with the attempt. Thank you. Okay, so that was the goodness of special. The Dorset record, Guinness Book record, official guide, letting everybody know all the rules so that they can pass this record and surpass the previous record in the correct way. He also wished them good luck. So make sure you send in your good luck messages from home. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit closer to the action now. As we want to get as close to this as possible. So Georgie says, I have done other martial arts, but not jujitsu. Okay, well that's that's better than me because I've not done any type of martial arts as well. But maybe I'll learn a little something today. Okay, let's get closer to that stage. Oh, amazing guys. I get your view the most close-up footage that I can as I'm allowed into the pit. Closer and closer to the action. So we are about to commence. As the participants are all getting onto their feet. And we have these coaches I think they're getting... Maria! Okay, Shabab, uh, just to inform you, you have to work line A and line B. Don't forget, okay? We'll give you all the instruction to you, okay? Uh, Master Hans Grace, please give some word to our kids. <laughs> it's a great honor to be... So I'm right at the front here, as close as I can get, and you can country. see all those It's an honor to see that we are part of your culture of now, and... We, we feel very proud that Abu Dhabi, Dubai, the whole Emirates is a Jiu-Jitsu family now. Thank you. Thank Us. you very much. Us. Us. And we are about to start. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is the warm-up time. One, Two, three, four, five. Left to lead, left hand. One, two, three, yes, right four, really is a big five. Lead, lead, lead. One, two, three, four, five. Left to lead, left. Left hand, lead on your mind. On the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Lead, lead, lead. One, two, three, four. Five, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Another four. Okay, so squat. We have the amazing move. coach on the stage there demonstrating the moves for the two, crowd to follow. Three, four, five. The moment that my bad, we're going to have to keep them at the right side. Just in. One, two. Three, four, five. Ben hat ihn da für Hasan. Ben hat gesagt, two, three, four, five. Ben hat gesagt, Harakita. One, two, three, four, five. Alle Ben hat gesagt, Mister. One, two, three, four, five. Ja, danke für die Hilfe. Alle Ben hat den Haraka. Salam alaikum, Shabab. Now we're gonna do the Yukemi. You know the technique that you already know. Okay, first we're gonna do the back break fall, okay? You sit down, just just look now, take a look, okay? Okay, it's very important to keep your chin close to your chest. For don't hurt your, your, your head, okay? You just gonna do that. And come back to the position. Yes, it really is cool, isn't it? And come back to the position, okay? Okay, sit down, everybody. Let's do it. 
So everybody has to sit down sit now. Sit down, sit down, let's do it. Stretch your arm. Mati the kilama, mati the kilama. One, two, go. Come back. One, two, two. Again. One, two, three. Again. One, two, four. One, two, five. Wow, very dramatic, isn't okay, it? Okay, Shamar, pay attention. Close your chin, pay your chest, man. don't hurt your neck. Again, no, no, sit down, sit down. Sit down, let's do two more. One, two, go. One, two, go. Shamar, stay in the position. Now we're going to do the side break fall. Okay? I want to be laid down. Strap my arm and they took captain uh, face you're gonna say Yamito Yasa and you're gonna turn oh, it down the floor yeah. one side. Come back. Doing that on my own perfect. Okay, <laughs> we come back in the zero position, let's say in the So middle. you should all be okay. sat down if you're watching. We should have our arms extended, one arm is extended. Let's go, two, two. And slam it down. <laughs> Three. Three. Jordan, great, keep trying. Everyone looks like they're having fun. Very curious to know how many participants now, are here. You're gonna show the cross choke, okay, in the standard position. Why you wanna show in that way? Because again, after please. that you learn how to do it in the mount, in the floor, okay? Now I'm gonna do first in the easy way for everybody can understand. Okay guys? I'll help me I'll let you give it somewhere the cross choke when we'll eat the roof. Manda to tell them when we'll eat the roof kept so yeah? تقدر تسويها من وضعية الموت اليوم بدت على مرة من وضعية الوقوف. okay شباب. we're gonna head back round the side. I control the call. to that side. بيدك اليسار. to this بدلة. my hand like an eye. how amazing was that to get up and close with the action. so let me know if you were doing that warm up with them. are you nice and warm now? I hope so. Interesting. It was so nice to be close to all those participants. It felt very dramatic. Okay, perfect. You're doing it from home? Exactly. Okay, so we're just coming around the side. Control. Make your wrist like that. One, two, three. Okay? Let's let's do it together. Okay, yeah, so both English and Arabic. So hopefully most people can understand. And you can hear he's still giving out those instructions for everybody. This is going to be going on for quite a while. Yes, it is amazing. Anybody else joining in, let me know if you are joining in with the jiu-jitsu at home. So, this uh, lesson's going to be going, going on a while, so I think it may be time for a quick coffee break. As well as loving food, I also love coffee. And that's definitely going to perk me up, isn't it? So, I've heard there may be an espresso with my name on it. Let me know if you're a coffee fan. Anybody else a big fan of coffee? And if you are, what's your favourite type of coffee? You know you have all these fancy ones now, don't you? But sometimes just a simple espresso is perfect. Okay. I spot the espresso lab 
Interesting, that's my kind of place I like to hang out. That lesson's gonna be continuing, I can hear that coach still giving out those instructions to everybody. Okay, yes. So we are live. White mocha, amazing. White mocha. Okay, perfect. You love espresso too? Amazing. So we are here at the espresso lab. Okay. So as we are getting our coffee made, let's have a look at this stand. So it's called the Espresso Lab. As we can see the name displayed up there. I can smell that coffee in the air. Yes, love heart emojis in those eyes for sure. That's my coffee bean brewed. You can smell those coffee beans. And as I wait for that coffee to come through, we can have a look there. This lesson's also taking place, as you can see, in different locations. Oh, music to my ears. I've heard my coffee's ready. Hello. Hi. Did I hear that correctly that my coffee's ready? My coffee is ready? Oh, wow, yes. Thank you. Is this my espresso? Fabulous. So, I've heard that some people like cappuccino. I have got an espresso in here. The espresso lab doing me major favor and keeping me energized for the show. Alfonso's a fan. Fabulous. Panamanian coffee. Oh, okay, I've heard about coffee because guess where we're visiting later? Panama. Woo. That is a very, very, very strong coffee. <laughs> this is going to keep me up all night. Anything I should know about this coffee? What type of coffee is it? Brazil? Okay, so this is a Brazilian coffee, apparently. It tastes very strong, am I right? Yeah? <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> so, as El Yazia, it tastes very strong, it's very sharp. I have got an early start tomorrow, so I'm appreciating the taste, but I'm not going to go too crazy because otherwise I don't think I'll be able to sleep. Whew, that really has got a punch to it. So, also, I'm a fan of a cappuccino. I like a latte and sometimes an iced coffee. So let me know what your coffee orders would be. And somebody earlier said that they love Panama. Well, how perfect because we're about to visit there a bit later in the show. Celia Mocha. Oh, that's a different one. Hints of chocolate in your coffee. Fabulous. And Jordan, Brazilian coffee for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I know. How perfect is that? <laughs> These things don't happen by accident, I don't think. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's have a little pan around. Line B, line B, sit down. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see from this far away, but I'll line tell you what I can see. That we have the different locations of that jiu that can happen. Okay, so now that I'm supercharged, and I emphasize the supercharge, with my coffee, I now going to be going to the pavilions. Okay, so now that we're going to be making our way to the pavilions, I'm going to refer briefly to our leaderboard. Number one position, we have Al Yazia with 24 points. And then we have Rekha with 21 points. I have Jude with 15 points, joint with Jordan with also 15 points, Alfonso with 9 points, I have Bashir with 6 points, joint with Georgie, Madha with 3 points, and Moran also with 3 points, and Hamda also with 3 points. Wow! <laughs> okay, so I'm making my way round the side of Jubilee Park. And this lesson is still underway. And I think next it's definitely going to be one of those Latin American pavilions. Oh, 
Okay, let's have a look at those beautiful lights. Yes. Okay, so I see Venezuela on my right. And we're going to head back round the other side of Jubilee Park. Okay, so next, coming up next, we have Uruguay Pavilion. Okay. Got led a bit astray there, didn't we? So we're going to go back on track. Yes, El. See, yeah, was it? Yes, you're in first position. Keep it up. <laughs> yes, Jude, it is a lovely time of the day. It really is. Lovely time of the day. As the sun starts to go down, you get that beautiful glow, don't you? <laughs> okay, so can you let me know at home, has anyone been to Uruguay or Panama or anywhere else in Latin America? Let me know because I've not been to anywhere in that part of the world. I feel like I'm missing out. So I have an idea from watching TV programs what I may expect if I was to visit those places, but I don't know. So that's why by going into these pavilions, I'm going to be able to find out more. And as well, constantly, we have that jiu-jitsu lesson continuing. Okay, so... We have a trivia. Let's find out if you know the answers to this question. So how many FIFA World Cup titles has the Uruguay national football team won? One. Is it hashtag one? Answer one. Hashtag two, two, hashtag three, three. Okay, so you, are you going to hashtag one, two or three in terms of how many FIFA World Cup titles has Uruguay's national football team won? Ooh, I am quite a football fan. Sorry, obviously supporting England, but I don't know the answer to this, so maybe some of you guys at home will know. Got a couple of minutes to get those answers in as we are about to enter Uruguay. As you can see, there's two pavilions ahead of me. Panama on the right and Uruguay on the left. Oh, oh, getting those votes in. Let's head in, almost ready for action. I don't know the answer, so I'm relying on you guys to let me know. I'm sure that we're also going to find out for sure when we enter this pavilion. And we have Argentina ahead of us. We haven't got time for that one today, but for sure we'll be visiting that pavilion very, very soon. And you got the answer right. Woohoo! So, yes, the correct answer was hashtag two. Well done, everybody at home. Okay, so hello, Mauro. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice to Please meet you. To okay, yes, of course. Let me follow you in. Yeah, for sure. Okay, perfect. So we are excited to learn more about Uruguay. So what do we have here? First of all, here we have the first America's Cup. That is the oldest tournament in the world. And Uruguay won it in 1916 against, Buenos Aires, against Argentina in Buenos Aires. Oh, okay. Is this the original? No, it's a replica. This is a replica. And <laughs> Uruguay won 15 of these. Oh, wow. So it definitely is a sporting yeah, country. Uruguay totally loves soccer. Football is one of the most played games in our country. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so as I can see up there, we just had a poll and they, the viewers worked out that you've won the World Cup twice, yes, as I can correct. see displayed up there. We, we won two World Cups and also two Olympic medals in 1924 and 1928. That's why in our current t-shirt, we have four stars. Okay, anybody got one of those football shirts at home? Okay, so this is the latest one. Is this the oldest one? That's or? correct. The one used in 1950, the time when Uruguay won its second World Cup against Brazil. Oh, okay, amazing. Oh, and this doesn't look like a very new ball. This looks quite old. 
<laughs> it has almost a hundred years. It was the ball used in the first World Cup played in 1930 in Uruguay in that stadium that is over there. Oh, wow. Okay, everybody. So this is from 1930. This football used in the first World Cup. Wow. And here you can see the first World Cup that was used in the company against Argentina. Okay, fabulous. But okay. also Uruguay has natural products to offer, like here. Okay, you can see so the moving on from amethyst. sport. Oh, let me get a little bit closer to these so everyone can see the true beauty of them. Wow. And these are real gemstones? Yeah, for sure. They are amethyst. They are from the northern part of the country. You can see how colorful and how beautiful they are. Wow. Is and this going to give me some good luck if I touch yeah, them? Yeah, for sure. More <laughs> energy and more lucky. Oh, energy. Okay, fabulous. So make sure everybody, if you have any questions for Mauro, he's the expert, he can answer them for you. And also Uruguay produce olive oil in this okay wow our olive oil production is a natural and really well okay so we have olive oil and here that's it's soap but soap made out of olive oil also okay perfect and so I have another they're not selling soccer team t-shirts here they're just displaying no, old just and display. new ones <laughs> and for sure Here's a, tr uh, a tree of life. Oh, okay, tree of life here. And this and is what's a this? typical beverage of Uruguay. It's called mate. We drink with hot water and tea over here. What? It's really lovely. You should try, guys. Okay, perfect. And by here, you can see the quality of our wool. Wow, oh, it's very soft. Very soft and also beauty to make some. And over here, you can feel football and soccer by playing by yourself. Take a oh, look. Oh, okay, so this is a game for us. Yes, yeah, so yes, as I, said, as I said earlier, they're not selling any soccer team t-shirts here, just to reiterate that. Okay, wow, well, Mauro. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. okay, well done, go. Please try yourself. So, can I have a go? Okay, so let me just get myself in order because I am going to have a go. Let me know, viewers, do you think I'm going to do this in one go? Okay, I am ready for action. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can do this in the first time. Yes! <laughs> can I have another go? Okay, I'm going to have another go because... Um, where's the ball? Okay, raise my right hand to start. Cheer me on, please, at home. Okay, let's go if I can go second time lucky. Yes! <laughs> two out of two, amazing. <laughs> Okay, so, looks like I'm not too bad at football either. So everybody, are you proud of me? I just got two goals. <laughs> okay, so let's go back into finding out more information. And finally, always stand out by sustainability politics. For example, almost 100% of its energy comes from renewable sources, hydroelectric, uh, I am solar and also wind. So you can see that Uruguay is really, really want to, to work towards sustainability and it's making paths towards that better okay, future. Okay, so what kind of, so we see their wind power. Yeah. So these are different things that they're doing to help with sustainability? Correct. Okay, perfect. Oh, oh yes, we see up here on this big screen some of that beauty of the country. And whereabouts in um, Uruguay are you from, Mauro? I'm from Montevideo. Montevideo is the capital city. It has 1.5 million people and our country in total has 3.5. So okay, so majority live yeah, in the capital. That's correct. Okay. And in the other part of the country there are beautiful beaches, 
to make tourism, that's Punta del Este. Punta del Este is one of the most important resorts in Uruguay to visit and to have fun. Oh, wow, amazing. Okay, so we have learned that sport is a very big part of your culture. We've also got some beautiful handmade products of the country. So we've learned a lot today. Thank you, you so much for having Uruguay, us. So <laughs> yes, we'll have to make welcome. sure we get there. Thank you and Bye. enjoy the rest of Thank Expo. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, so Subin, on my next visit, I will visit this pavilion. Okay, amazing. So we're letting you know what you may have missed out on and getting you involved so that then maybe you want to meet there next time. So amazing. Yes, Uruguay looks beautiful. And guess what? Guess what we've achieved together? We have unlocked that first badge from Uruguay. Yes, amazing. Okay, so guess where we're going to next? I see someone waiting for me. Oh, is he there? We are about to go into Panama and hello. Hello, Echo Hi, 2020 Enrique. Dubai. Welcome Hi, to Panama Enrique. Pavilion. Come. How are you? Hi, we're good, thank you. So we've got viewers watching live. Is this show only on YouTube? So this is on Twitch, it's on um, it's on Facebook Live, it's on Twitter, okay. and it's also on Facebook. Okay, Panama is located in Central America, in this side, Costa Rica, the other side, Colombia, in this area, Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, okay? Okay, so right in the center there is Panama. Yes, in the Central America. Okay. Panama culture is blend of African, uh, North American people, uh, uh, American native, and other people, uh, uh, Spanish, Indian influence. Okay, because, so it, it, because Panama is multicultural, the music is diverse, the cuisine is diverse also. We have different dances. Oh, for wow, so we have some dancing people. up here on the screen. And as Enrique just let us know, we have a beautiful mix of cultures. Yes, in different this mix cultures. We have Gunas people, Nove Bugle. And Baragunan and other communities, indigenous people. It's very, it's diversity. Panama is diversity. It's very nice. With diversity, the costume of the girls is called pollera. It's very famous in the world. It's very expensive, and yet it's very, 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 very nice. The Panama. The, some people say Panama hat. No, the real Panama hat. Panama, Panama hat is called sombrero pintado. You can show the Panama in real Panamanian hat. I, I told you. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, beautiful patterns, lots of yes. colors. The Geisha coffee is very famous, not only in Panama, around the world also. Oh, so yes. somebody earlier yes. commented on yes. Panama coffee. Yes, yes, yes. And ceviche is a, a seafood. I miss the ceviche now. I need, I need to... It's very nice and the so, and the so. Sir, Al, sorry, one second, Enrique. So, Al yes, yeah, I did answer this question already earlier, but we is also on virtual expo.com okay so you can follow the show on there yes uh, the other the other very famous in panama is sancocho it's a soft the chicken it's a soft wow. chicken it's very nice very nice okay so we can see some of those very tasty foods of panama in panama we have a different festival one of festival is called corpus christi is a uh, follow me this costume is here okay so we can see an image from a costume of the festivals, but then we also have a bigger version. Let's get a little bit closer. Wow. How extraordinary is that? They look a little bit, they look a little bit scary. Yeah, yes, but it's, <laughs> but it's only a festival. It's a really oh, okay. festival. In this area we have VR glasses, virtual reality. You can uh, visit Panama City, downtown city, nature, Venice, and other places of Panama. Okay, so if you do get the chance to visit this pavilion, we have some virtual reality devices here, but you can have a look closely at the nature and the full experience of Panama. Panama, okay. In Panama, you can take the, the, the breakfast in the Pacific, and at the same time you can visit, take a, a, a diner, in the Atlantic in the same day. It's only possible in Panama. Mm -hmm. Panama is by, by diversity. We have two oceans. Uh, you can uh, uh, well watching, bird watching also. This is a famous natural bird. It's called uh, Epic Eagle. Oh, wow. So there's lots yes, of nature to be seen. Beautiful island in Panama. Panama is adventure, business. The skyline is very, very, very beautiful. So beautiful. 
Uh, the first city of Panama is called Panama Viejo, and the second old town city is called Casco Antiguo, and the modern city is Panama. Okay, perfect. So on here, we've just got a little bit of trivia, mm -hmm. and it says the first person who first visited all 192 country pavilions at Expo 20, 20 Dubai is from Panama. So there's actually... It's something. Alejandro, Alejandro. Oh! I know Alejandro, knows. yes. He doesn't miss a trick. He yes. knows him, so Alejandro, <laughs> Ale. Ale. You met him? Correct. Yes, I, know, I met him. Oh, fabulous. Yes. Panama, <laughs> Panama is called the Hope of South America because it connects North America, South America, and other countries in the world. We have directed flight with uh, Europe, Asia, North and South America, also in Central America. We have a new convention center in Panama. It's ubicated in La Calzada de Amador, or Causeway de Amador. It is very famous in Panama. It's by the Museum of Biodiversity. They explain all the biodiversity that Panama has. Okay, perfect. So, Enrique, we have someone that says, I have crossed the Panama Canal twice, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It's very nice. You can do it, yes. You, oh. you want to take a tour or have a tour? You can do it in Panama. This is, this is the first construction of the Panama Canal for American people or USA, and the Panama Canal expanded for administration of the Panama. Okay? Okay, perfect. So we've got a little trivia question, but you can't answer it. I know you'll know the okay. answer. Okay. Panama is a piece of land known as a land bridge or hashtag A, Gulf, hashtag B, Peninsula, hashtag C, Isthmus, Isthmus. Isthmus or yes. hashtag D, Strait, Isthmus. as it connects North and South America. Okay, guys, so make sure you get those answers in. Yes, um, we have a shop in this area. Uh, also, we have a, a section of the kids area. We can play. Uh, okay, play. so we have a section for the kids also. Yeah. Okay, this kids with the ocean. Okay, okay. Okay, nice cartoon up there. And we have some hands. We have some shop, yes. Lots we have. of hands ah, made. It's, it's, it's very not this, this uh, uh, different place, handmade, different goods in Panama. Okay, so lots of handmade goods. We've got some pa pens here. Okay, and Enrique is going yes, follow, follow to also show okay. us we have, different experience. You we can have also a have a here. QR for the different templates in Instagram. Maybe you can take a QR. Okay, give me one second, second. Okay. Okay, so if you're into Instagram, which yes, I'm sure yes, a lot correct. of our viewers are, then they have this filter. So you can add sombrero pintado. yourself. Where's your sombrero? There we go. Are you like it? And Enrique is wearing a hat, perfect. And the ladies? And, the lady <laughs> and for the ladies? Uh -huh, and the ladies, we have another filter. Okay. Okay, more QR codes. What's this filter going to show us? Oh. Okay, give me check. Okay, here. There we go. Found you? Oh, oh amazing, no? <laughs> amazing. So, <laughs> the answer then. We've got our completed answer. Answer was... People voted C. Nice. Yes, yes, correct perfect. answer. Correct answer. Okay. In this area, we have a, a different article of shop. It's a handbag, a wallet, crocodile. Very oh, nice. Wow. So that's made from crocodile. Yes, yes. And we have some beautiful handmade jewelry here, earrings. Amazing. And what else do we have to offer? And the other one is very, very nice. And what is this, a scarf? Yes, it's pachamina. Okay, perfect. Yes, uh, we have natural water. For okay, so we have the spring honey, water, spring artisan water, water honey, 100% natural. For the kids, you have a puzzle. It's very nice for different uh, things of Panama, different sauces, barbecue. Okay, so what's um, what's your favorite type of food? The ceviche. I love the ceviche. ceviche. Yes, I and like ceviche. And you eat a lot of spicy food in Panama. A spicy food. C ceviche. Maybe you can take. A, we have a different sauces. It's a spicy sauces hot, here. Hot sauce. Yes, yes. Also, um, chimichurri. I love the chimichurri. Your steak with, with with a steak or fish or chicken. It's very very nice. Okay, so we've got a question at home. Someone's asking, what is Panama's national bird? Do you have a national bird? Yes, we have a national bird. Erp eagle. How do you want to say that, sorry? Erp eagle. Ah, do we have a picture of it anywhere? Yes, follow me. Okay, let's see come, a on, come on, <laughs> come on. Come on, hurry. You can tell Enrique must be missing Panama. He's yes, of it's of Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's the national bird. You asked and we found. Yes, the harpy yes. eagle. Yes, well done, very Okay, uh, very famous. I told you that the geisha coffee is very famous. We have okay, so I've just had coffee. coffee. Yes, I've had yes. Brazilian coffee, and so is Pana, Pana, Panama coffee is also, oh, okay. 
And okay, some souvenirs perfect. that you have in Panama and I spot a hat. Here. Can you put a hat yes. on for me? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can put your hat for you. There we go. Oh, no, I don't think it's going to go on me. It's okay, no, on. no, no, for me. Enrico is <laughs> okay. not a fan of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, we, we have a gift for you. Okay, ah, stay cool. Fun. fun for you. Okay, so Enrique thinks I need to cool down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the outside, we have the, the Panama Canal, the Puerto Trucho, and the Panama Canal Expander. In the, in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so he's just going to take us outdoors just to see the final bit of okay. Panama. This is, a, this, is a, this is the first Panama Canal, Panama, and this is Panama Canal expanded. It's the second one, okay? Oh, wow, so this is more port. Someone's yes. asking me, are you wearing Panama? Is this type of clothing you wear in Panama? Yes, 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 for for going to the uh, use for the difference. Looks event. nice and thin. Yes, and very nice. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's correct. So I actually already asked Enrique to wear a hat. He's not feeling the hat today, are you? I feel very good. Thank you for <laughs> coming. I'm amazing. He didn't quite want to put a hat on. Enrique actually tried to put a hat on me, but my hair's too big for a hat, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so is this for me? Yes, it's for you. Okay, it's so I've got a gift, everybody. I've got a fan. So Enrique, thank you so much. Because thank you, you for just... coming. Thank you for the expo visit Panama Pavilion and the only people. Please visit Panama and visit the Expo 2020 Dubai. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. Enjoy the rest I see of you your soon. Time at Expo. Bye bye. Thank you. Welcome. Wow, that was exciting, wasn't it? Pa um, Enrique certainly loves everything with Panama. Somebody said, "Oh, I think Enrique's had some coffee as well." No, that's just him having a love for Panama. Yes, he's so enthusiastic. And guess what? We have just unlocked another badge. That is our country badge unlocked and we have earned the Panama badge. Amazing. Okay, perfect. So, as you can see, as I said earlier, there's Argentina behind me. We'll be back there soon, don't worry. Okay, so, let me know in the comments, what did you like in particular about either of those two pavilions? Yes, Joe, another badge, another one for the collection. So I don't know about you, but I am thinking that I need a trip to South America at some point. Okay, so let's have a quick look at that leaderboard. We have Rekha with 254 points. We have Al Yazia with 245 points. Yuj with 239 points. Joe with 236. Alfonso and Kitty Sack with 230 points, Felix and Sibin with 224, and then both Jordan and Zilia with 218 points. That's very close, isn't it? How marvellous that I've got a little giveaway. A little fun for me for one on those hot nights. Okay, so we are heading back over towards that jubilee park where that event is taking place okay so let's just take a look around and it just reminds everybody that remember for every hundred points we achieve together we will be planting some seeds of change at the end of this episode so keep interacting with me so as you can see, this lesson is still underway. Let's get a little bit closer. Yes, the fan looks very good. So we are back at that Guinness World Record Jiu-Jitsu lesson. Okay, hoping to make that record happen in Dubai this year all those kids involved coaches hi felix okay felix so you've been absent for a little bit of while got to come back again next weekend yes you have and i hope if you haven't seen these pavilions yet maybe we've got a reason for you to visit them now wow so everybody is up on their feet now Ah, yes, yeah. yes, earlier you were getting involved. Are you going to go back for a second round? Get that exercise mat ready. Wow. And I think that lesson's coming to a close now. 
Chant now. Jiu Jitsu! Oz! One more time. Jiu Jitsu! Oz! Jiu Jitsu! Oz! Oz! Wow, let's give them all a round of applause at home. Okay, so someone's just asked me what my favourite sport is. And I'll let you know. So in school, I used to play lots of sports. Favourite sport was probably netball. Does anybody know what that is? It's a little bit similar to basketball, but with a difference. And it's female only, usually. Or dance, of course, because I'm a dancer. Okay, so... Everybody, I'm going to get a little bit closer to the action again. Are you ready for it? Ah, let's have a look at that crowd of participants that may be feeling a little bit tired right now, or, of course, happy. Closer to the action again. So, still a lot of energy from all of these participants. Oh, Gregory, thank you. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. So they're all taking a seat now. Very curious to know what's next. I see a lot of tired participants. Watching live. Okay. This is live at Expo. Are you a bit tired now? A little bit. <laughs> no, I'm not tired. Actually, I'm not tired. I just a little bit busy because I have to keep attention. Keep an to eye on all of the participants. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. And how many people were here today, approximately? Um, I don't know exactly, but I, I know we try to to break the last record. Okay? okay. But I don't know exactly how many the numbers because I come early. I didn't count. Okay. I don't know how many. But that is a lot. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> so, we're not quite sure how many people were here, but there were various locations. As we start to draw to an end of this event. So I think everybody's had lots of 
confirm. So, just to let you know which catch, which catch, it takes with these events, and it's particularly with world Guinness World Records, it does take a couple of hours after the event for everything to be calculated and for those results to be announced. So we're not going to know yet, but you can check online in a couple of hours' time and then we'll find out if Dubai has done it to see if we've got that new world record. Okay, so everybody is departing now. <laughs> So, I don't know about you, but I'm going to have my fingers crossed that in a couple of hours' time we are going to find out that Dubai has got that world record. Let me know in the comments what's your thoughts, what you're thinking. Do you think we did it? to that leaderboard and we do have Repia with 254 points, Aliazia with 251 points, Joe with 239, Joy with Jude, Alfonso with 233, Kitty Sat with 230, Felix with 227 points, Sabin with 224, Jordan Fish with 218, joint with Zelia with 218. Perfect! So, as everyone's starting to depart now, I'm going to see if I can catch anybody to find out their thoughts and how they did in this Jiu Jitsu record. And we have lots of entertainment going up on this stage. Yeah. Okay, fabulous. We just want to speak to you. We're live on air at the moment. What's your name? My name is George. Okay, and how long have you been doing Jiu Jitsu for? Yeah, I trained in Jiu Jitsu since my eight years old. I started really small and now I'm a foreign trained. Oh, wow. I arrived here in the UAE in 2010 and we are recently we started the project in 2008. And yeah, I started to work at the school with the kids, then I was transferred for the army. And I'm working now for the presidential guard. Oh wow, for the presidential guard, yeah. amazing. And have you enjoyed today? Yes, of course, very good. And this was a big challenge for us. And uh, the challenge, everything will be good. Okay, so do you think that we've broken the record? Sorry, I cannot listen very well. Do you think that we have broken the record today? Yes, of course, yeah, because yeah? it was first time. Oh wow, so over 2,500? You bet. Yes, <laughs> okay. Perfect. That's Are you cool. tired now after that lesson? After the Everybody lesson now, I guess everybody now we're going to just live. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Spending time with us. Take care Good and enjoy the rest of the expo. Bye -bye. Wow, how amazing was that? What's going to happen there? How amazing was it that we just got to speak to one of the coaches? So, as we come to the end of this episode, as always, we need to plant today's seeds of change. So, get your answers in. We have hashtag one, clean energy, hashtag two, using less, hashtag three, green cities, hashtag four, healthy planet, hashtag five, eating well, hashtag six, living together, hashtag seven, happy people, or hashtag eight, cleaner water. Okay, so, as always, as I always say, I'm glad that you're making the decision and not me because all of these causes are equally important and we've just got to make a decision for today and that decision can change on each episode. So get those votes in. How amazing was today's show? We've got to be part of a live event. We also got to visit a couple of pavilions and earn our badges. And we got to interview a couple of coaches as well. 
okay, perfect. It really is an electric atmosphere around here in Jubilee Park. So get those votes in, please. You've only got a minute or two left. And now I'm already thinking about how am I going to go to visit Latin America. <laughs> Okay, perfect. We're just coming towards the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. We can hear that music in the background. Look, it's such an amazing atmosphere. So, the winner of today's Seeds of Change is hashtag six living together. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. And I hope you have enjoyed today's show. Okay, I think we had a great time. Tune in tomorrow for our next episode, Backstage Pass, Behind the Seeds, Behind the Seeds at Expo's 2020 Dubai El Wasso Plaza. Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. That's the end of our episode. <laughs>